sorry, it's DJ. Good morning, everyone. I am Teacher Connie, and I will be your teacher in Mathematics 5. Before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare the following. Today, I will discuss formulating the rule in finding the next term in a sequence. There are problems in math that can be solved by observing sequences and patterns. What is a sequence? Yes, a sequence is a list of numbers or objects in a defined or logical order. And what do you mean by pattern? Great! Pattern or patterns are repetitive sequences and can be found in nature, shapes, events, sets of numbers, and almost everywhere you care to look. How can we be able to see patterns in a sequence? Using the sequence 5, 10, 15, and 20, each of it is called a term. Consider the following examples. Find the next three terms of a sequence 2, 5, 8. Blank, blank, blank. The rule is add 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 5 plus 3 equals 8. 8 plus 3 equals 11. 11 plus 3 equals 14. And 14 plus 3 equals 17. Therefore, the next three terms of the sequence are 11, 14, and 17. The sequence is 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17. Another example, find the next three terms of a sequence. 3, 6, 12, 24, blank, blank, blank. The rule is multiply by 2. 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. 12 times 2 equals 24. 24 times 2 equals 48. 48 times 2 equals 96. 96 times 2 equals 192. Therefore, the next three terms of the sequence are 48, 96, and 192. The sequence is 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96, and 192. We have our third example. Find the next three terms of the sequence. 1, 3, 7, 15, blank, blank, blank. Solution. The rule is multiply by 2 and add 1. So, 1 times 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 times 2 plus 1 equals 7. 7 times 2 plus 1 equals 15. 15 times 2 plus 1 equals 31. 31 times 2 plus 1 equals 63. 63 times 2 plus 1 equals 127. Therefore, the next three terms of the sequence are 31, 63, and 127. The sequence is 1, 3, 7, 15, 31, 63, and 127. Now, it's your turn to perform and formulate the rule in finding the next term. Write your answers on your notebook. For exercise 1, give the next three terms in each sequence. 
Write your answers on your notebook. Now, let us check your answers. 1. The rule is add 6 or plus 6. Next, 3 terms are 24, 30, and 36. Number 2. The rule is multiply by 3 or times 3. Next, 3 terms are 486. 1,458 and 4,374. Number 3, the rule is multiply by 2 plus 3 or times 2 plus 3. The next 3 terms are 125, 253, 509. If you got it right, brilliant! For exercise 2, formulate or give the rule used in each sequence.
Number 1, the rule is add 2 or plus 2. Number 2, subtract 3 or minus 3. Number 3, multiply by 5 or times 5. Number 4, divided by 2. Number 5, the rule is add 9 or plus 9. If you got it right, wow! And for exercise 3, match the sequence in column A to the patterns in column B. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on your notebook. Let us check your answers. Number 1, letter E, times 3. Number 2, letter D, minus 6. Number 3, letter C, divided by 5. Number 4, letter B, plus 10. Number 5, letter A, minus 100. If you got it right, terrific! Congratulations! You really did well! Remember this, to formulate the rule in finding the next term in a sequence, determine the order of numbers if it is ascending or descending. Find the difference between the consecutive terms. And to find the rule of the next term, use the difference between terms. For your assessment, assessment A, formulate the rule of the following sequence. Choose the letter of the correct answer on your notebook. For assessment B, perform and formulate the rule in finding the next term.
Let us check your answers. Number one, letter C. Number two, letter A. Number three, letter B. Number four, letter B. Number five, letter D. In letter B, number one, the rule is add four or plus four. Next, three terms are 16, 20, and 24. Number two, the rule is multiply by three or times three. Next, three terms are 405, 1215, and 3645. Number three, the rule is multiply by two and add three or times two plus three. The next three terms are 77, 157, and 317. If you got it right, you did it! I hope that you will always remember the things that you have learned today because learning is fun. Thank you for watching and listening. Bye!